we're gonna take our footage from this to this. And all I did was use Optical Flow and DaVinci Resolve 18 Studio. We'll also do it with this clip. We'll slow this down to 60 frames a second. All right, so I've opened up DaVinci Resolve Studio 18 here, and the first thing that we're gonna do is just play back the two clips we have here. So these clips were recorded in 24p. So the first clip we have is of this woman walking in the woods. And then I picked a more extreme clip here. So we have an action shot of a horse running. So I picked these two clips as examples because I feel like a lot of us are out there taking videos of people and, uh, and so I just figured, okay, let's just get a shot of somebody walking. Like I feel like for a lot of weddings and corporate videos and advertisements, you know, we see a lot of this going on here. And so that seemed like a pretty generic example, pretty universal example there. And then I picked the horse one because I feel like the horse one is a bit more extreme just because we have so much heavy action going on here with the horse running. We have like the parallax going on in the foreground and the background. Uh, there's just a lot going on here. Okay, so for my first clip here, in order to get the 120p look here, I'm going to right click on that clip and I'm going to go to Retime Controls. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hover over the edge of the top edge of this clip here. And then I'm going to move this clip out and we'll go to about 25% here. So basically, we're slowing this down to be about 25% of what it normally is. Okay, and then if I play that clip back, this is what I get. So again, it's very jittery, not very smooth here. And just for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just gonna pick a small snippet of what I want to smooth. All right, so now that I've slowed down the clip, I'm gonna head over to my properties window over here, and I'm going to scroll down to where it shows retime and scaling. This might be checked off, so you can just check that on. Okay, and then for the retime process, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this dropdown, hit optical flow, and then for motion estimation, I'm gonna scroll down and go to speed warp, and I'll just keep scaling the same to the project here, and then we'll resize to be sharper. Okay, so one important note here with these settings, if you're running on a machine that's a little bit slower, uh, you're, it's not gonna play back in real time on your computer. In fact, your computer might crash a little bit here. And so what I would recommend doing is this if your computer is not really playing it back very well. So um, if you're in the middle of an editing, so what I would do is just turn this off for now, edit your whole piece together, put all your clips in, and then when you're ready to render out your final piece, I would just come over here and turn this on in the clip that you, you slowed down and you smoothed down using optical flow. So I just click that there. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, just so I can see a final render here, is I'm going to, going to go ahead and just select my out point by hitting O on my keyboard and make sure I select my in for the beginning. So I'll hit I. And then the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over to my deliver tab here. And I'm just doing this so you can see the results because it's not gonna play back very well on my computer. Okay, so we'll do final render 20p and go ahead and make sure my settings are all good. So I'm doing this in 4K. Just make sure your frame rate's set to 23 here. Codec, QuickTime H.264. Um, again, if you wanted to like overlay this onto your timeline already, you might wanna go with the codec like Apple ProRes just so that way it retains um, it doesn't compress it as much, but just for all intents and purposes for this tutorial, I'll keep it at H.265. And then we'll come down here and hit Add to Render Queue. And then I'll come over here and just hit Render 1. So depending on the speed of your computer, this might take a little bit of time to do. So I'm going to go ahead and just fast forward to the end here. Okay, so now that it's done, what I'll do is I'll come up and just right click here, click Reveal in Finder if you're on a Mac. And then I'll hit the space bar and we can view this clip. So space bar. So again, this is four times slower than what is originally recorded at. Okay, so here's my next example. So we have this horse galloping through the wild. Got a lot going on there. So I'm gonna go ahead and again, I'll right click on this 
Go to read time controls. Now for clips that have a lot of action in them and you shot in 24p, if you're trying to slow it down, it might be difficult to slow it down anything past 50%. So we'll go ahead and keep this one at 50%. And then again, come over to our read time and scaling here, hit optical flow, hit speed warp, and then hit sharper. Okay. So we'll go ahead and do the same thing we did with this clip. We'll render it out. Okay, so that is how you slow down a clip and you make it smooth using Optical Flow and DaVinci Resolve 18 Studio.